Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Uh, it's thrilling to have all of you here this morning. Uh, for many reasons, which I'm assuming is occurring to all of you, uh, this is a great day and it's been a phenomenal journey. We're celebrating a very successful year. This is our 13th year of doing that and working with the Savannah Morning News, our partner, who's done a phenomenal job in raising awareness for women to get a screening mammogram. That's item number one. Item number two is to make sure everyone in this community knows that there's not going to be any barrier to any woman in Chatham County uh, due to financials, either you're, you're uninsured or underinsured. And um, I probably can say to all of you, uh, women talk, them, talk themselves out of getting a mammogram for a myriad of reasons. Um, they're too busy. The timing's not good. They've got to rush home. Or they may have a financial barrier. So the purpose of this is to take that last excuse, so to speak, out of the equation so that the women can end up taking care of themselves. And almost everybody in this town comes from families where there are two working people. And it's a busy, busy time. And it falls on the mom, in many cases, to be the quarterback of the family. So they're taking care of the children, they're taking care of the groceries, but if they're not careful, they won't end up taking care of themselves. So that's what this is, is about. Uh, what all of you have done through these donations, which we're going to talk about in a little while, is get rid of that last barrier. And so with this Telfair Mammography Fund and the great job, the great job that Savannah Morning News has done um, you would have to be in hibernation for five months and not knowing that we have painted this entire town uh, pink. From uh, the print ads, the editorials that have appeared in the paper, the location of it all in the paper, it has been absolutely phenomenal. Under a great deal of duress, for us to say that this has been an unusual year, it has been an unusual year. And it would have been very easy for Savannah Morning News and for St. Joseph's Candler to go into hibernation and just take a pass this year. But because of Raina Cash, who I'll introduce in a moment, that wasn't going to happen. So we decided to hitch our wagon again and just do it, and it has been over the top. This year, between 400 and 500 women will get a screening mammogram as a result of this fund. On the one day that we decided to do it, which was mammography day, we did 200 that day, one day alone. Now that's a lot, and there are other women who have already scheduled their other appointments. So this fund will take care of between four to 600 women. We had tremendous support from the community. And again, like the Savannah Morning News, it would have been very easy to take a pass on this because we've all got a lot on our minds with COVID and say this is not the year, but that's not what happened. So when we went out into the community, the Habisham School raised money, Parkway Christian Church raised money, Panera Bread, St. Vincent's Academy did a phenomenal job in rallying that school behind this cause. And of course, Tanger Outlets. Now if you think of a area of uh, this community that's got hit by this, retail has been really hit by this. And it would have been easy for them not to get involved. And I mention that because the spree de corps in Savannah, Georgia for this particular cause is phenomenal. And you don't see that in every community. And I'd just like to take a moment and have you hear from our partners. Hi, my name is Susan Berry. I'm the varsity volleyball coach here at the Habersham School. And we just had our seventh annual pink night in October. It's a match we started because a player of mine had a mom who had, was a breast cancer survivor. So we started that seven years ago. We made $25 that night. 
Um, this year we made $1,100 and we're so pleased to be able to donate to St. Joseph's Candler Mammography Fund. Hi, I'm Kristen from Panera Bread on Polar Parkway and this year we raised $313.90 for the Tail Fair Mammography Fund during Paint the Town Pink. Hi, I'm Jade with Parkway Church of Christ. We did a virtual 5K to benefit the Telfair Mammography Fund. We raised $1,000 through Paint the Town Pink. Hi, I'm Marianne Hogan. I'm the president at St. Vincent's Academy, and we're so proud that we raised $12,081.51 for the Telfair Mammography Fund. We are so proud to help those in need. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of it. Hi, I'm Emily from Tanger Outlets. I'm Kelly from Tanger Outlets. And we are so proud and grateful that we can participate for the third consecutive year to donate to Health Fair Mammography. And we are very excited that we could again paint the town paint. I'm going to introduce Raina Cash in a moment who is on my left. Uh, she's new to Savannah, but she is not new in her previous uh, professional career for being predisposed to people that are disenfranchised. She has a long track record of the communities that she has been in, of getting on board for social accountability projects exactly like we're talking about. So when she came to town, uh, she kind of said the answer is yes, what's the question? Because she was already on board and I have greatly enjoyed uh, working with her. So Raina, would you say a few words? Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Hinchy. Um, the thought of passing on an opportunity to help this community and to help women who um, are facing, um, you know, health situations and who need to be tested, who need to have their uh, mammograms, the thought of saying no never crossed my mind. Uh, the very first time I, I heard about this, I knew right away that I wanted to be on board and to carry on uh, this tradition of the Savannah the morning news. Um, I've known many women in my lifetime who have um, experienced uh, breast cancer or who have uh, passed on the, the chance to get a mammogram and to stay on top of those uh, precautions that we all have to take uh, for financial reasons, for all kinds of reasons that Mr. Mr. Hinchy just described. And um, anything that we can do at the Savannah Morning News, anything that I can do to help that not be the case, uh, for people to be proactive um, and and to to take a proactive approach uh, to breast health. Uh, that's something that I'm all on board with. Uh, from a personal standpoint, from a professional standpoint, it means the world to me. And I'm so glad to have been a part of this, to have been a part of this fundraising effort, um, and to uh, for the Savannah Morning News to be front and center in uh, this, this long-standing 13-year relationship that we've had. Now, uh, we're going to do what you all are waiting for. We're going to pick uh, the winner of this bike, which is on our left. And you can see it's got every gizmo there is on it. It's pretty cool looking. Um, yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'll open it up, and why don't you pick the name? Certainly. OK? Drum roll. Drum roll. Um, everything in here has been audited by PYA out of Tallahassee, so this is totally legit. All right, we're ready. All right. Let's see. The winner is? The winner is Ann Moffitt of Savannah. So now it's, it's my pleasure uh, to present this check uh, on behalf of the Savannah Morning News of $6,000 wow. <laughs> wow. St. Joseph Candler Mammography Fund. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. That's pretty good, isn't it? Well, thank you all for coming. Uh, we have in this fund, in addition to this, for our Smart Women Luncheon, which was virtual this year, we raised about $140,000 in that pot. Then with this and everything else from the other people I've uh, mentioned, we have a, a cachet that is significant, and it's our hope 
that when we get up here next year, that we can tell you that those funds have been depleted to zero. So please help us get the word out. We're ready to go. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next year.